After spending years of his life sexually abusing boys entrusted into his care, and recent years denying it, Jerry Sandusky is likely to spend the rest of his life in jail. A judge sentenced the 68-year-old former Penn State assistant football coach Tuesday to at least 30 years in prison. He had faced a maximum of 400 years for dozens of charges, stemming from his sexual abuse trial of 10 boys over a 15-year period. Sandusky was convicted in June. After an emotional hearing in which victims detailed the horrors they never endured, and Sandusky still maintained his innocence, portraying himself as a victim, Judge John Cleland ruled that his dangerous Sandusky will not be eligible for parole for 30 years. His maximum sentence is 60 years. The once beloved coach, whose abuse triggered a scandal for one of the nation's most storied college football teams, was given credit for 112 days served. In world news, an attack on a teen blogger consumes Pakistan. The brazen shooting of a defiant teen blogger has stirred the conscience of Pakistan, a nation plagued for decades by violent extremism. An angry chorus of voices in social media on the street in newspapers and over the airwaves has decreed the attack against 14-year-old Malala Yousafzai as a cowardly, an example of government unable to cope with militants. I blame the Taliban, first and foremost columnist Sami Shah wrote in the Express Tribune, a local English daily. I blame the government, all of it. Malala was slowly recovering Wednesday after surgeons worked for three hours to remove a bullet lodged in her neck. In political news, the vice presidential debate is a no game changer but could shift momentum, says King. Yes, the debate between Joe Biden and Paul Ryan is sure to be entertaining, and it comes as an important moment in a highly competitive presidential campaign, but let's not get carried away. Some healthy context, courtesy of Republican Bolster, which airs. Dan Quayle got his clock cleaned in VP debate and still ended up as vice president. That's because Americans pick presidents on election day, not vice presidents. For all the hype, there is scant evidence of a game-changing vice presidential debate in our political history, and plenty of reason to believe that there is but one overriding challenge. The key for both VP candidates is to come across as competitive. They pass the test, then they have done their jobs. Still, given the movement, even airs considered Tuesday, that tonight's showdown does matter some. In entertainment news, ABC Family ends the secret life of the American teenager. Now Shailene Woodley can pursue that film career full time, the ABC Family has decided not to renew the five year old, quote, The Secret Life of an American Teenager, unquote, for another season. The drama from Brenda Hampton, Seventh Heaven, will air the first of its final 12 episodes beginning in March, according to the deadline. Teenager not only served as a springboard for the Golden Globe nominated Woodley, who starred in The Descendants opposite George Clooney, but served as a beacon of light for the Down Syndrome community because its cast Luke Zimmerman as Tom, the high functioning son of Caitlin. The drama has addressed teen pregnancy, a first found in 2000. grow that Syria may shut down the internet. Late last month, Aleppo, Syria civilians who have cell phone subscriptions received a foreboding text message in Arabic, Game Over. Those on prepaid phones, including many opposition fighters and activists who tend to throw their devices away after several uses to avoid detection, did not receive the text or subsequent messages signed by the Syrian Arab army telling them to surrender their weapons. The government was sending a message to rebels that their people who subscribe, says Tiger a Dubai-based Arab affairs analyst, and active psychological warfare carried out by cell phone. The texts have increased serious Quadra's concerns. The embattled government has realized both the full potential of using the internet and mobile carriers to communicate with its leaderless opposition, and the importance of the networks as domestic and international lifelines of the rebels. Tune in next week on every Wednesday for Whisper.